What's up everybody, Isaac Okasen here with Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are gonna talk about the question of how do you take the civil PE exam or the FE exam, or really any exam for that matter, with confidence. So how do you go into the exam with confidence? So stick with me and we'll get this answer today. All right, what's up? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this question that we have. So how do you take an exam or the PE exam specifically? How do you go in there with confidence knowing that you're giving it your best shot? So let's just get this out of the way, right out of the way, right out of the gate. Um, you're gonna be nervous, you're gonna be anxious, you're gonna take this exam um, and you're gonna have adrenaline pumping. You know, this is an exam experience. Things are gonna be crazy, your mind's gonna be wild, you've been preparing for months for this specific moment in time. You're gonna remember all the weird details and every problem after this exam, it's, it's crazy. Um, so when you go to the exam, you're gonna meet people that have taken the exam before, uh, maybe they're past college students that you've been buddies with, they're gonna be there, coworkers, people you've worked with, they're all gonna be there. You're gonna recognize people everybody's in the same boat so the first thing you need to realize is that you've been preparing for this moment for many months and you've put in a ton of time into studying and practicing for this particular exam so you need to trust that you have done your best to prepare for this obviously the best way to go in with confidence is to be prepared for it right you got to be prepared for this big exam so if you've put in the time and you've put in the study, you can go in with confidence knowing that you've given it your, your all, you've given it your best foot forward. So um, that that's the first major thing, right? Um, the other things that, that we really need to keep in mind is that we need to have a positive approach to this. If you're going into the exam negati negatively, um, then you're gonna have problems. So let's say this is your first, second, even your third, fourth, fifth time taking this exam. I've talked to people that have taken it six times and they just can't get over the hump. If, if you are one of those guys, um, you still need to go in with confidence, knowing full well that you can do this. Uh, because if you don't and you're gonna waver, uh, it can cause problems. You're gonna second guess yourself on every single problem. Um, you're gonna wonder if you guessed right and all that all that crap. So um, make sure you're going in uh, you know, with confidence knowing that you've prepared. And even if you have failed many times before, still go in with that mindset that you can do this, that you can pass this exam with no problems. Some other tips that are helpful is that make sure you're eating healthy, make sure you've given yourself plenty of water and some healthy food uh, in the morning. Um, because when you're taking the exam, a lot of people can bring snacks and stuff. I just didn't find the time to be munching on a bunch of Starbursts and Skittles while I'm taking the exam. Although a lot of people do. And you know, maybe that'll help you. If gum is you know your thing, bring a piece of gum and start chewing that stuff and maybe that'll help calm your anxieties. So um, another thing that's gonna help you go in with confidence is that you need to stop talking about the exam maybe like a few days before you actually go take it. Uh, if you're not prepared for the exam a week before the exam, you're just you're just not prepared, I hate to tell you that. Um, but if you have prepared, it doesn't do you any good to just keep dwelling on the exam before, right before the exam. It's nice to give yourself a little bit of a break. And when it's time to go, it's time to go and, and you're, you're ready for it. So those things will help you go in with confidence. Another thing I think you should be prepared for is become very familiar with your surroundings. Know where you're gonna go in the morning. Know where you're gonna park, if it's paid parking or not. Know what you're gonna do for lunch. Uh, if you're going to go to a food court or something in the middle of the, you know, for lunchtime or if you've brought your own own lunch, make sure you've got all those things um, kind of nailed down so you are prepared. That's part of that preparation piece. So I think if you do all of those things, you're going to go into the exam with confidence, knowing full well that you're giving it your best shot and your best foot forward. So hopefully those tips helped you. What do you think? Do you have any tips to go into the exam with confidence? Please let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at Isaac uh, at civilengineeringacademy.com and let me know what you think about going to the exam with confidence. What's your advice for someone that's taken the exam five times and you know they're going in for their sixth time? You know, what what would they do? So I'd love to hear it. Um, 
so that's all I got for you. Um, check out civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Um, we have stuff there for the FE exam as well. And make sure you uh, leave us comments. So thanks for hanging around, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.